Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome, uh, welcome back to me. <laughs> I've been, I've been out a while. Got a little bit of a head cold, kind of knocked me, knocked me back just a little bit. That's what you kind of hear going on with my voice. And work's been a little nutty and everything else. And with everything wrapping up here with my time here in Abu Dhabi and, and getting ready for the next thing and all. So it's kind of taken me away from the kitchen a little bit. So I have a, uh, we're having a potluck dinner tonight. Uh, a lot of the folks get together and wives and everything from, from work and are uh, going to meet over at Nick's house and, and Stefka's house and have a little potluck dinner. So what better uh, reason to fire up old Crock-Pot Dundee than to, than a potluck dinner, right? So I've watched this movie years ago with the kids, a uh, Pixar movie, Ratatouille, and I've been dying over the years to, to, to try this. Uh, recipe and I found a recipe for slow cooker ratatouille and that's the plan today I, I've got it I've got it, it I've already started it's going and everything it's been going now since uh, for about four hours four and a half almost five hours oh it smells great so super it's simple the the toughest parts cutting up the vegetables and everything else you'll see that in the video and there's a couple of spots where I speed it up a little bit because you don't have to watch all of it but um, anyway all the recipe and the ingredients and everything's down below. Uh, so check it out. Super simple. I used, I cheated a little bit and used uh, just a, a jar of spaghetti sauce ragu. Uh, but hey, it's simple and I'm all about simple. So let's uh, let's turn the camera around and get cracking. So stand by one. All right, here we go. So I've got, I've got two jars of ragu that I actually found in the American section at the car for here. <laughs> It's just funny that that would be in the uh, American food section. Ragu and and uh, what what are those things? Uh, the the candy uh, fruits roll ups. <laughs> that's that's what's in the American section. So <clears throat> I've got the uh, sautéed onion and garlic, uh, and then this one's uh, roasted garlic. So I'm going pretty heavy with the garlic flavoring. I don't know if I ought to use all of that, but I've got two zucchinis, two eggplants, three potatoes, two carrots. Two red bell peppers, uh, two sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. I told Ravishing Mrs. Ritter about this. I was making this. She said, "Sweet potatoes? Uh, who's who? Who thought such a thing?" And then I've got five cloves of garlic that I'm going to mince up. Um, let me set this here. So as far as cutting this up, now I, I won't uh, belabor. Uh, I won't have you sit through it all. Cut the ends off the stubs here. And I, 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 the recipe I found didn't have carrots. So I just, I, I didn't, I couldn't find yellow squash in the in the grocery store here. So I'm gonna cut this about eighth of an inch thick uh, for everything but the eggplant. The eggplant I want a little bit, and the zucchini I want a little bit bigger. I want to go probably half an inch with the slices with these. Okay. So I'm gonna leave the skins on these because uh, it's gonna slow cook and it should cook it through fine. And I've, I've, I've done that before with, with eggplant. Same thing with the zucchini. I'm gonna cut these a little bit thicker, maybe half an inch thick, a little bit thicker than I am the other ones. Sweet potatoes, potatoes, I'm gonna cut those thinner, eight, about an eighth of an inch thick. So I'm going to be here a while cutting all this up. This is probably the most labor-intensive part of this is cutting all this up. And then the second most labor-intensive part is layering it all. So <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. I may just end up... Now, the simplest way to do this will be just dump it all in the crock pot, but I do kind of want to make it look nice. So I'm going to do my best here. So... I'm gonna cut all the rest of this up and then I'll come back and we'll start layering it. So be right back. All the vegetables chopped up. I forgot to mention uh, some, well, are they red or are they purple onions? Anyway, purple onions. I got my bell peppers chopped up. I, I cut them up and kind of square shaped because uh, I'm gonna use them to layer right there. So I got the the onions cut. I've got potatoes, two, two uh, well, I, I cut up Three, three potatoes, two uh, medium size uh, eggplant, two zucchini, two carrots. I only cut up one sweet potato because I'm not sure how that's going to go with that. Um, 
So I, I don't want it to overpower, so I only went with one uh, sweet potato. And then I minced up my garlic. So I've got, what, first thing I'm gonna do is reposition here. I opened up, I'm gonna go with the sauteed onion and garlic sauce, ragu, and I'm gonna add, now the recipe I found says, you know, one cup. I don't know what size crock pot they're using, but I'm just gonna add, this is a 24 ounce jar. I'm adding a, just enough here to kind of cover the bottom good to kind of hold the stuff. That was probably about four fifths of the jar. So I'm probably end up gonna use, uh, gonna end up using both jars. Now, the meticulous part here is just, is layering this in. Uh, now I could just kind of just layer it and, and put it in. Uh, you know, by hand. I could just throw it in, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and try to make this look nice. And uh, like one of everything, and then I've got my crock pot heating up now. So, and then I'm just kind of just continue same thing. So. I'm gonna kind of get my system going here. Now, the potatoes for the larger pieces, I cut, that were bigger round, I cut in half just to kind of help, help with the, uh, to make sure that I can, well, that I have enough for one, and then, and it really, you know what, if you if you kind of mess up your order, and that's fine too. So, I think, this is the first time I've made this, by the way, so <laughs> we'll see how this turns out. I hope it's going to be good. Smells like it should be so far. Um, so, I've got to grab one of everything and then go in and do my thing here. So, red pepper, potato, carrot. <laughs> So there's the first layer. It looks like I'm gonna have multiple layers here, okay? Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is add some, my spices. I'm gonna go with some salt and pepper, and I'm gonna use some oregano and now, the recipe calls for fresh basil, but uh, don't have any. Uh, so I'm gonna go with some a little bit of oregano. I'm gonna go with some basil, uh, salt, and pepper. And I'm also gonna go with some, this herbs de Provence. So I'm kinda just mishmashing the spices here. I, I thought I had some time. Looks like I'm out of time, huh? Uh -huh. So. <laughs> There we go, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some of the some of the garlic over the top too. So a little bit of that, a little bit of salt. And I'll put all the directions and the ingredients are down below what I used, and you can kind of modify this based on your own tastes. So I'm uh, like I said, I'm a month out, so I'm trying to use up a lot of these spices. I might not have. go some pepper on here cracked pepper there we go and then one just a little bit of this minced garlic over the top and then I'm gonna put another layer as many as I can get on here um, and then I'm gonna little bit more of the sauce over the top and then I'm gonna add another layer just like I did this until I, I run out of room or I run out of vegetables so I'm, this is for a party tonight we're having a little uh, work uh, get-together 
to use a little bit more of this roasted garlic sauce here. Um, kind of a potluck, so I know that uh, some folks are vegetarians, so this would be a good vegetarian meal for them. So save that rest of that sauce for the top. All right, and I'm gonna layer it. Just gonna, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, so there it is. It's all loaded up now. Look, here's all the extras I had left over. So pretty much a whole carrot. I, I didn't even use one whole sweet potato, and then I probably uh, a whole potato. So two potatoes, probably one eggplant. Um, I used all the zucchini because I like zucchini. Um, I used uh, obviously the garlic. I used the onions, the two onions. I used the two red red peppers. So <clears throat> I'll adjust the recipe down below accordingly. And again, I, I, the spices I used, I used uh, oregano or oregano if you're from the UK, uh, basil or basil, is that how y'all say it? Herbe de Provence, uh, salt and pepper. And then I'm, I'm gonna top the rest of this off. I got a little bit of the sauce left, left here and just whatever sauce I had left. So I used two jars, two 24 ounce jars of spaghetti sauce and I'm just kind of Spreading this around on the top here. Now I know that water is going to cook out of these vegetables, and I, the last couple of times I've made the mistake of adding water, so I'm not going to do that this time. And one of the things, if if you find as you cook, and then I'm going to put the top on. And I've got it on high, I'm gonna let it go on high for a couple hours and then I'll eventually I'll turn it down to low towards the end. But if you have too much water, you know, the last hour or so before you're ready to eat, just take the top off and it'll, uh, it'll, it'll boil out, I guess, uh, steam out uh, to help thicken it up a little bit. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go now, go to the go to gym now. So you know, healthy today, what's up with that? Anyway. Uh, I'll be back and uh, when it's when it's done and we'll see how it turns out. So stand by one. All right. So I, I'm not gonna plate it all up and everything else so nice. I just took a little bit out here because I want to try it and see and let you know how it is before I take it into the party. That's the big thing. Kind of got called out before for bringing stuff. <laughs> I made, I made a video with it and they're like, oh, look at this. There's a big old uh, heap and helping carved out of it already. And I'm like, oh, uh, well, I had to make sure it was good. Uh, yeah, right. So anyway, so this is kind of, I could sneak a little bit out. Nobody will know, hopefully. Anyway, here it is. This is how it turned out. Smells wonderful. Mm, it's all cooked. Mmm. I love the zucchini in it. And there was a lot of liquid with it. Uh, not too much though. And and again, if you if you put it over rice, I don't I don't I, I physically I'm not gonna be able to take rice uh, tonight, but um, if you if you if you would like this would be really good over rice or over mashed potatoes or something like that, or even even pasta shoot. Um, but super uh, super simple. I'm gonna try the eggplant. Mm. I love eggplant. I think one day I'm going to grow it uh, for sure. I've always grown it, just kind of like, oh, what am I going to do with this? You know, eggplant, Parmesan, or whatever. But uh, in lasagnas and, and ratatouille here, oh, it's so good. So this is a potato. Let's see if it makes sure it cooked all the way. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, tomato sauce and everything else, it's all good. All the spices. Onion, I mean, this is good. Oh, this is tasty. So give it a try, really easy. Again, just cut the stuff up. Now I went way over on the amount of vegetables that I used. And you'll see in the video, I got them all over the place. Uh, the, 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 the recipe down below is, is, is what I used in this size crock pot here. So if you got a smaller crock pot, obviously less, but uh, this works out great, it's tasty. And uh, give it a try. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, hopefully I'll get back uh, going with the kitchen here, making some more food. So till the next time, we'll see us. Colonel Sand, over and out.